Hi, I'm Greg Lang, Michigan State University. We're here at the Clarksville Research Station at our High Density Intensive Pedestrian Orchard Cherry Training System trial. In this trial, we're not only looking at training systems and different rootstocks, but two different covering systems to protect the trees and optimize the growing environment. So today, May 14, is about uh, anywhere from one to uh, two and a half weeks after bloom has occurred. We're going to take a look at the trees that are grown with no covering system and then over a season-long uh, row cover and finally in a retractable roof covering system. So this tree here has been grown in the open. We can look down the row and see uh, the status of these trees. Uh, bloom was about a week and a half to two weeks ago. We can find some fruit on here. We can see a couple little fruits developing. Young fruits. Fruit still in the flower. Pull the flower parts away here. You see there's a pollinated flower that's turning into a fruit. And notice that the shoots are about three inches long, two inches long, somewhere between one to three inches. Notice the size of the leaves, uh, about the size of my fingers there, the length of my fingers on this particular tree. So this is a tree that's been growing normally in the outside environment. Take a look at this next tree. I looked at it earlier. We had freezing temperatures here two nights ago, the day after Mother's Day. Uh, temperatures down uh, some places on this research station as close to or close to uh, 26 or 27 degrees, and that lasted for about an hour, about um, 6 a.m. And in this fruit, we can see where we had frost damage on the very tip of the fruit. So the young fruit was still in the flower, much as this one. In fact, I'll peel this away. And there you can see a lot of a lot of black. So this is a frost damaged fruit growing outside in the open. Okay, so we've looked at the open trees, the unprotected trees. We've got some samples of the stage of fruit development on these open trees and an example of the stage of leaf development. In fact, if you're interested in what black cherry aphid looks like, there's some black cherry aphids. So let's go take a look at the season long row covers and see where we're at with our fruit development and our stage of shoot development. So here we're at uh, what should be a similar a similar um, variety. We can see we're pretty much at the same stage. You can still see a lot of petals here, uh, so maybe this tree is a little bit, uh, maybe one day later than outside, but all in all it's very close. One to two days difference at the most in terms of fruit development under the cover. That makes sense because this cover is a self-venting cover. It has net paneling covered by waterproof panels so that it does shed rain. These trees have been free from rain, but heat can be vented um, passively up through the covers, and so it does not capture heat in the springtime. So it would be very similar in terms of temperatures to the outside. And we can see the fruit is not only similar, but it looks like the shoot growth is basically pretty similar to outside. So we can protect the trees from rain and any um, diseases that are spread by rain from bloom on through ripening. We protect the fruit from rain cracking while it is uh, in the ripening stage. But we have not affected the development of the tree itself, the shoot growth or the fruit growth significantly. So finally, let's take a look at the retractable roof system and that will show us some significant differences, I believe. Just the first tree we come to, which should be the same variety as what we were looking at outside. I see a couple of fruit that are already set. We're significantly different 
in our fruit development. If we take a look at shoot growth, we're significantly different in our shoot growth. We've got twice the shoot growth in the retractable roof structure than we do outside. Uh, makes perfect sense since we were able to close the structure in the spring, try to capture extra heat. In fact, on nights that were frosty, we have heaters that we propane heaters that we can run to add heat to the orchard. Six heaters in a retractable roof structure of this size gave us 10 degrees Fahrenheit extra protection. So when the temperatures outside were 27 degrees two days ago, we saw that damage on the unprotected trees in here. By running six heaters, we were 10 degrees warmer. We were 37, 38 degrees, very protected. row cover. So we've got larger leaves, more shoot growth, and here's some of the fruit that was pollinated. We bloomed about six days earlier in this retractable roof structure than we did outside. And so certainly our fruit development is much more advanced. And I believe we could advance that bloom time significantly earlier. This is the first season that we've had both the retractable roof structure and the row cover structure over the orchard. Uh, we had a very late spring, a lot of challenges with cool, wet, rainy weather, and so we didn't manage the capture of heat in the retractable roof structure probably as, as well as we could. But even so, uh, I think we're able to see very significant effects. A large fruit here, large fruit here, larger leaves, more shoot growth, and this early, there's quite a few fruit. This early shoot growth and early size differential really bodes well for not only an earlier crop, but we think uh, probably very good fruit quality. The more leaf area we can put on the tree early, the more supply we have for developing those fruit into nice, large, attractive fruit. Here's our SSA training system. See, a nice cluster of fruit there, about eight fruit. Here's some good fruit developing. Here's a nice clusters of fruit. So when you capture heat um, and protect the trees from the point of bloom onwards, we think we can really advance the growth of the trees, really advance the quality of the fruit. Once we get close to ripening, of course, the uh, retractable roof will make sure it's always closed whenever we have rain, protect the fruit from rain cracking, comparably to the uh, row cover system outside.